hi guys so i think you know <coughs> not that great unfortunately for me mostly and for others too i think but that aside uh, i thought i'll make a positive video because i post on facebook because i paste i post on facebook Mm, and uh, most of it i don't know maybe like it's not that negative it's like making fun uh, it's a bit pointed and blunt and uh, jagged which reminds me i have to listen to mick jagger and uh, so i've been experimenting you know mostly out of lack of choice i guess i don't know not really i guess it's not so bad so <clears throat> See, right now it's bad because I haven't had my chamoil tea. I'm paying for my sins. Okay. Anyways, so uh, yes. So what I was going to say was that I have an impression of the queen, but I'll do that later. Uh, this chamoil made me think of about the queen. you know our queen and and uh, moving right along to more serious topics because i've been told that i am too much of a joker okay, so i done like some experimentation with mental health uh strangely something gnaws gnaws at my head saying that you know not saying uh, just growing growing that um maybe this is stupid like maybe this was like supposed to be a four week or maybe two months let's say thing you know i had a psychotic episode i arrest for a month i get you know then actually the fam- indian family care which is strangely was done quite okay in my household you had this grandma who was crazy sorry grandma uh dead now no issues and uh and uh, i don't i don't grieve for the dead i grieve for the living i think she was also happy <laughs> until i told her that i am coming to see her and she was like maybe this guy will make me live more <laughs> and then died <laughs> or something okay anyways <clears throat> as far as grieving goes i think i am that guy who doesn't grieve because i done all my grieving beforehand so i am not celebrating like the tamils or other cultures may be doing i am not grieving you know externally that much but what are she died 3 years back or 2 years back uh, i am not going there so anyways um um well i will be going there just you know not today hopefully okay so coming to the serious part hopefully uh, that uh, yeah so in short yeah i still feel it could have been could have would have should have but uh, it's now 15 years and you can i don't know if you can i'm just holding it for showing i guess but uh, if i remove the camera maybe i re- i relax now because i thought of it but it will come back to this so i guess i'm like my ankles also like clutching and then releasing so <clears throat> i had bad sleep obviously i think which is odd because i thought i had good sleep mm-hmm. i woke up at i think i slept at like 12ish 11ish a bit late and then i woke up at uh 8 or 7 which is weird because i don't mm-hmm. usually do that anyways so <clears throat> i am i took the medicine as the doctor said 50 mg this is not good for other people but for me at least given that i have anyway gotten into this uh, you know uh what do you call that in malayalam you said anyway in the ilum nan nene kulichu yaram anyway you got wet might as well take a bath uh, so there's the translation so and then uh what i got was that you know reducing these meds i think almost two and a half years back the doctor said one year and i was two and a half years and i didn't do as the doctor said the doctor who said within one year 
thinking that I could do it within nine months or something. And two and a half years later, I have just reduced negligible or actually I've gone off one whole drug, but um, I don't know. I think I felt better on 25 milligrams clozapine if the you know support was there and it wasn't too bad or stuff. Something. I tried the clonazepam route, the zolpidem route. Benzos, um, I don't know, how, I didn't read the whole thing on how harmful they are, but um, um, benzos, I think, are not that. I mean, actually, you know what, I really crave a <coughs> um, 2 milligram benzo uh, because I have not used benzos at all, you can say. Um, and from my experience, I'm not sure if they go into the brain and clear out some things. So I don't know if that's the danger part. I don't know if Zolpidem is good because it gives brain rest, but it's an artificial rest, very artificial rest, I guess. Brain activity gets um, ho on the whole reduced. Um, so it's not at all. And then you wake up, you feel fresh, but then three, four hours later, that catches up to you or something. I don't know. And I took Rosostatin, a statin. I just I think I have the same effect almost with that orostatin or maybe I don't know something I ate I was pretty okay with eating so tips I guess all in all uh, I would say keeping I, I don't know if 0.25 is helping I would maybe if after one week of crap like real crap taking a 2 milligram clonazepam if again like you try for the one last day and it's bad and then you just take a i think at, if you're really feeling bad then by 12 noon is you can't sleep you're feeling bad nothing's working out for one week you take a two milligram you wake up at 6 pm you'll be fresh i mean your body will be will flush out a lot of i think crap because you're on a constant stressed out mood and then you got six hours of sleep plus anxiety stress flushed out of your body Anyways, I think I'll stick to chamoil tea for this these two days and then I've got like I think 3 or 4.25 clonazepam which I've kept as you know at least for a month I think uh, I've used like 0.5 milligrams two tablets of 0.25 which is I heard that two weeks is what they prescribe but then they get addicted and then people take it for long term and then it uh, getting off them is hard or you have to increase the dose increasing the dose is the hard part for getting the same effect anyways i'm not i was doing good actually i think on 34 clozapine yeah i was i enjoyed those two days today i'm just more like forcing it or it's coming out um i don't know i'm laughing a bit but uh, at youtube videos uh, you know i would prefer a friend unfortunately I think uh, people are. I I gave an email because of all the harassing sounds, saying that I, there are some harassing sounds. Uh, since I have not especially been diagnosed with schizophrenia, mostly schizotypal and bipolar. Actually, schizotypal. I'm not so sure, but maybe some elements are right. Or maybe I just read it and thought it's just me. It's like any diagnosis you go, you go, get, you read it up and you say, ah, I got that. Everyone's got an element of it, I guess. But then I, I am of the opinion that this, this is more like a, <coughs> I think this is, all, I have said this many times, so maybe this is stupid. Uh, maybe I should write a paper on it, but I think already someone must have written a paper on the same thing. Just it got buried among the commercialization or something. This could be just your brain malfunctioning, mal, mal, malfunctioning temporarily, malfunctioning, malfunctioning temporarily. You know, uh, your brain is an organ that goes like an engine. It malfunctions. You fix it up. One week, one hour later, it's running. So, um, I proposed. You know, giving a good dose of diet, diet at uh, the first acute episode, and not medicines, because then you have a mixture of these two, and you think it's the medicines or it's the food. If the patient is feeling, then you know, go ahead with food. Um, you know, I guess you could ask him that. You know, we'll give you food, and as per law, we are not supposed to put any drugs in it. Of course, a law has to be made, and um, you know, 
then the patient could after bringing the food the patient could say i don't want it being a uh, you know paranoid and what not i don't know it doesn't try it on me i guess but uh, <coughs> so next thing uh, is that yeah you could say no to it you would have to give the food to someone else so you know the nurse has to eat it or something i don't know it's not the worst thing to do but wouldn't it be definitely worth a try i think within 3 dollars i think the father can be asked to spend 3 dollars i think it's quite rational given the amount of love he has <laughs> or maybe 5 dollars for a meal you know relatively you don't even have to have a special balanced diet you know run of the mill junk food will do i think <laughs> because i'm beginning to think i don't know this is a strange idea but there's lipids and fat in the brain and you need some of that seems animal fat kind of i don't know but um I don't I think just your junk food will do <laughs> like a McDonald's meal or something no offense to McDonald's they make good food uh, I actually had a good sleep on McDonald's after reading that burgers are not good or so but then I didn't eat anything else that's also another I ate healthy for that day then had a McDonald's but by 6 pm so the body can water it down and wash it down with water 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 I guess so so yeah chamoil tea has helped a bit i would say yeah but uh, probably not in excess and also maybe not in mixture with some of these drugs because if it's stress relieving it might have something that goes to the brain and relieves it but then you don't want it to interact with the other drugs worse which is also administered so anyways that's other than that um, i hate if anyone can help me with this I don't know I think this is stupid because I can help myself uh, I think basic physics I can I, I can't sit on this I'm doing a lot of sitting on my bed so that helps with my leg pain I guess I mean after no walking chair I could try but my father has somehow uh, I don't know I think you know psychiatrists should also try financial con- uh, counseling like when a father or mother has let's say for, for three to four properties i'm not bragging but uh, yeah okay that's not good that's not good i just saw that i got bumps over here but eh, these things come and go and I, i think it's only human to get a bit thing, okay and uh, then mm, yeah i think you know when they talk about psychosis break from reality it's It's ironic how much doctors sorry i'm saying this a bit messed up because i'm messed up but maybe cold is so, a you know no emotionless person these are all labels you can throw at a schizophrenic mentally ill person you know to satisfy your whatever so wow i think the amount of cruelty that is being done i think i don't know this harassment it's it's not people it's something else it's i think this desperation or something anyways so um it's definitely not voices it's people is people around me that's for sure it's just uh, um, whether they are good or bad maybe they are doing it to motivate me i don't know i don't go out a lot but i've been going out 3 days and i said hi to a few people and uh, and if frustrated i'm not making normal friendships whatever that is saying the words they expect to hear or something okay anyways maybe it's a bit of my frustration okay next thing is um um what else yeah i i got it from like a girl online but it's called the mind uk or something um mind mind.co.uk i remember reading in long back unfortunately i am i think i didn't you know at that point of time in my life um i i think they should highlight this getting help from doctor thing doing it with a doctor uh there's a lot of fear both from the doctor and from the patient that you know what if you know suddenly they run out of patience and for us i think suddenly you know what if the doctor runs out of patience and you know doesn't want that and if i ask him he'll put me on more medications knowing that him knowing that now i know that you know 
and he'll run out of patience or something. I don't know, seems a bit crazy, but anyways, financial consulting is when uh, all the family, the, there is a family and it's very clear that money is there in terms of land and everything, but then this father is, you know, and the psychiatrist joins in is the worst part, but the father is like, uh, uh, let's say, um, he has enough resources to come once in a week to the doctor's office, um, let's say a luxury car to say the least. Uh, he has, uh, you know, uh, the resources to spend a little bit of money and uh, maybe even set up a small company or whatever. Maybe that's a bit too risky, but food at least and and not quarrel over, you know, 500,000 rupees. Um, and when, do- and the, when the father comes and shows him a list of expenses, which uh, some, even the stupid doctors got a hang of it, but... Not stupid doctors, but actually, <laughs> actually, it's, I think, okay, nice. So, so even some doctors have got the idea to, you know, not listen to this idiot. Uh, I think that is also not helping because we are dealing with a very inferior or complex person. So, sorry. Uh, so, um, I don't think that will help also. What needs to be done is look in the, to the face and, I, I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm just thinking out now out loud you're a very stupid person (laughs) is what the doctor could say try saying a person who thinks he's the center of the world and megalomaniac you know genes i guess and uh and uh that would put him in his place of course no mentally ill person supposed to talk like this unless they were schizoaffective or psychopath lack of emotions or clozapine didn't work out yesterday right one of these. Mm. Okay. So, I've been given vitamin D supplement. I don't mind it. It's good. Okay. <clears throat> vitamin D is sweet. No flavor. Yep. Yeah, whatever. So, <clears throat> um, oh, it is good. Kind of good. Too sweetish. No, oh, it's okay. That's it. I think that's it. Um, financial counseling to the parents. You know, not go psychotic with the money. <laughs> because it's a bit funny. I did work for four years, four and a half years. But people don't know, maybe remember that. And I worked hard, kind of. Normal, kind of. Um, And this is what I got. Um, and they want me to go to work now interesting i don't think these people have much common sense okay so so that's the family situation uh, at some point it's cruel i think the comedy is cruel yeah it's it's a cruel uh, comedy kind of thing what do you call that black comedy <laughs> no, not that bad a genre anyways so the poor family cannot afford to see a psychologist and a psychiatrist for over here, I think the rate is, let's say, a good psychiatrist, 1,000 rupees back then. Okay, it's a good rate back then, I guess. I don't know, 1,000 rupees for the psychiatrist, 1,000 rupees for the psychologist. Now I'm talking money and some people will get angry, maybe psychiatrists and psychologists, which is very strange because that money is kind of like a real world thing. You may be psychotic if you don't like money, I guess. I'm not saying uh, blindly going, uh, there's like either money is God or devil. There's no like, it's just a system to, you know, help us live and whatnot. So, thousand rupees anyways, back to this. Thousand rupees for the psychiatrist, thousand rupees for the psychologist. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you are va- your value is thousand rupees. The, oh, oh, the all of you is, I mean, I have to tell this to a psychiatrist, it's kind of offending, right? I mean, you're a psychiatrist <laughs> and you're like 35, 45 years old. Anyways, so 1000 rupees, 1000 rupees for, for, let's say, worst case scenario, half an hour, half an hour a week. And do that for maybe, if, if you're not rich in India, I guess, uh, once every week for three months. If you're rich, you can do this twice every week. But then I think if you see two times in a week, the patient will get dependent on it or something. I don't know. Um, so um, do a diet counseling and uh, all the alternatives for three weeks for this amount that's three months 
ट्रीटमेंट एंड ये फाइन फिफ्टींथ ईयर साइकोसिस डेफिनेटली साइकोसिस जस्ट हैव टू फिगर आउट हु हैज इट नाउ आई थिंक आई आई वन वेंट आई एम गोइंग द एक्स्ट्रा माइल हियर आई मीन इट्स लाइक ओके लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स इट फेल्ड बट आई गिव दन मोर चांस last 6 years it will it failed i'll give them one more chance then there's a patient shopping that's interesting of course they tell you it's doctor shopping once they have done their shopping of patients <coughs> <coughs> sorry so that's that's even more happy 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 makes i mean that makes you want to live life i mean if that doesn't want you to make li- make you enjoy and live life i don't know what with man okay once the it's very interesting i should have come up with this uh, reply, verbal defense long back but i was on medicines <laughs> oh sorry i am still on medicines but i was on patient shopped medicines thrown from here to there there to here do do psychiatrists in your country after seeing you for 2 years call you up and ask you how are you doing uh, let's say after 2 years of seeing for you know money not, i mean it's always money but still Do, do doctors or psychiatrists in your country who love you so much call you up and ask how are you now or something why are you not here or something because i think here they don't pretty sure they don't if the if they don't see a patient it's like nothing ever happened anyways i don't know some of these guys get thrown into cruel hospitals i think a doctor could do a court courtesy call you know and look into their patients well being but uh, i guess i don't know and then um, maybe i'm getting this whole thing wrong some financial restrictions i still think 1000 is a good amount um, but let's but then the doctor has to tell the parent because the parent may jump if he's let's say parent x i'm not naming who and he's a miser extreme miser over he may actually switch his child's well being uh based on like a like a 100 rupees difference another doctor convinces him for like 100 rupees less so then you have to go with a, a registered doctor or something but then yeah if you are unfortunate to have a father like that then yes and why am i blaming my father and mother of course i will blame <laughs> people have to stop really stop thinking this uh, i am you know only because of my father i exist only because of my father and mother most definitely and they are my bitches catering to my wishes like a you know bitch or a dick a bitch or dick so nothing you can do about it <laughs> absolutely nothing you can you know ch- chat away and humiliate yourself i guess <laughs> that you are smelling my ass every day and night but that's your problem not mine was the money coming from what did his dad do to him what did he do to his dad what did the doctors do oh so much thinking anyways that being said that's out of the way and also yeah so what did i find out i'll say in my next video no i'll make say it in this video i have to put a timeline i guess um so uh, what did i find out yeah so washing and all i j- i found out does this dish bar right bar soap i just put the sponge in there when things are really bad i just wipe the entire counter everywhere with this soap thing on a diluted level and then i just leave it i don't go for like the second cleaning until maybe the next time i want to clean i just wipe it with water so first there's a layer of soap dish soap so it's not exactly toxic they use it for cleaning dishes so if it's, there's a little bit on the like what do you call it the kitchen counter it's fine i mean the animals don't come in i don't think they like it so i just do that that way it saves time and i'm not accused of being a disgusting slob which i am most of the time not really yeah a little bit maybe today okay that's it i think i'm done i have to sleep <laughs>